What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Yes, today we are back with the 338 Lapua Magnum and this is a test that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So when I got this rifle, which I'll show you here in a minute, the very first video we made was a ballistic dummy torso. It was awesome. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. The entire thing was pretty dang epic, but the shot that we put on that zombie head was one of the most dramatic and impressive things I have ever seen. And to me, it looked like that bullet dumped all of its energy pretty much right away. So I got to thinking, everyone knows in a zombie apocalypse, a sniper rifle like this could take out one zombie, no problem. But could it take out two or even three with a single bullet? How many zombies can you eliminate with one sniper rifle round? And today, that is what we're gonna find out. Okay, to do this test, we have three ballistic dummy lab heads sitting on the table here, and I'm gonna set these up pretty close together to resemble, hypothetically speaking, of course, in a video game, three zombies walking in your direction in a single file line. And we'll see how many of them you could get with one 338 Lapua. Now, really quick, before we shoot the zombie heads, I have one more test that I wanna do, and that is a steel penetration test. So I've got two of these plates, one thin, and one thick. And these were sent to us by a YouTube channel called the Josh Wiley channel. Go check him out and support him. Obviously he supports us and sent these for us to try. But he actually makes these plates himself from a mild 1045 steel, which is not the hardest metal in the world, but it is a steel plate. And he said they work very well as pistol targets. So he wanted to see what would happen if I shot it with the 338 Lapua. Let's find out. And this is the rifle that we're using in today's video. I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up look at it. It is the Barrett MRAD 338 Lapua bolt action rifle. And this is currently being used in the military as part of the Mark 22 sniper rifle system. They have like seven different calibers for these things. The 338 Lapua is one that I've always wanted, so that's what I went with. I also think it is one of the most powerful calibers you can get in the Mark 22. The 338 Norma might be right up there with it, but I love this rifle. It looks awesome, shoots great, and it's just exciting. You get that warm, fuzzy feeling every time you pull the trigger. All right, we're gonna shoot the quarter inch plate first. If it goes through this one, maybe we'll try the half inch plate. The round we're shooting is just a regular 250 grain 338 Lapua. No AP rounds, nothing like that. This is just regular ammo. Let's see what it does. Well, it knocked everything off the table, including the wood that was behind it. So I think it went through. Let's go check it out. While I was using my 15 yard holdover, apparently I'm back quite a bit further than I thought because that one hit pretty much dead center and went straight through the top of our steel. It almost went through the hole that was already there. So. <laughs> We'll have to redo it, but you can see what it did to the wood. Went through the first one, the second one. On the third one, we have a big piece of the bullet. And then on the fourth one, it looks like the rest of the bullet. So it did not go all the way through the wood. Let's try it again and bring our point of aim down a little bit. Same bullet, 250 grains. This is the lightest 338 Lapua that I have, so it should also be the fastest. The sound of that bullet impact was five times louder than the first one, so I think that was a good hit. Let's go check it out. And there it is straight through that steel plate. Look at that hole. Couldn't be any more perfect. Let's take a look at our wood. Pause. And see what we got back here. Okay, so it looks like that was the one directly behind the steel plate because you can see some of the shrapnel on the entrance hole there. And then after that, I'm really not sure. It looks like that one might be number two and the majority of the bullet is stopped in the second piece of wood. You can see a lot of it coming out of the back. Here's number three. 
and it just has a dent on the front. So it doesn't look like anything actually went too far into that one. And then number four is untouched. Okay, well, it blew through that quarter inch plate like a hot knife through butter. Let's try the half inch and see if it can get through that one. And there's our half inch plate right there. You can see the difference in the thickness compared to the quarter inch plate that we just shot. So this one should be a little tougher to get through. All right, 338 Lapua versus half inch steel plate. Well, something hit the Texas star. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't the bullet. Let's go take a look. All right, so it looks like a piece of wood got thrown off the table and that's probably what hit the Texas star. Thank God, because the 338 Lapua would probably ruin that plate. It looks like it's all right. And then here <laughs> is our half inch piece of steel and man that is cool once again just blew straight through that steel plate easily and then obviously that was our first piece of wood you can clearly see where the bullet went through i think i even see some of the bullet right there in the front and then there's definitely a big piece of lead on the back and then this is our second two by six and some of the bullet is also right there and nothing came through. So once again, it looks like it just easily blew straight through that piece of steel. I will say on the slow-mo, that bullet impact looked a little crazier than the first one. Like it was probably quite a bit tougher for the bullet to get through, but ultimately it did do the job. Pretty cool. All right guys, now for the test that you're all probably here to see, how many zombies can you eliminate with one sniper rifle bullet? This is the setup we have. I screwed them into some two by fours and then screwed those into the table. And you can see they're probably about six inches apart. So this is as close as zombies could be walking together without touching each other, realistically, just to give us the best chance possible. Now, I really don't know what to expect on this one. A lot of people just assume that rifle rounds overpenetrate more than they really do. The bullets are actually designed to dump most of their energy in the first thing they hit. So oftentimes, rifles don't overpenetrate as much as handguns do. Obviously, the heavier the bullet, the more likely it is to overpenetrate, and the 338 Lapua is a big one, so. I guess we'll find out on these zombie heads. And by the way, shout out to Vortex for the shooting glasses. They just released a new line of eyewear. They have ballistic lenses so you can safely shoot with them and they also double as really cool shades. So Vortex eyewear, go check them out. All right, for this one, we are using a 300 grain 338 Lapua. This is the heaviest projectile I have, which I think will increase our chances of over penetrating, so. Let's see what it does. We've all seen video games, movies, and even heard real life stories about two for one sniper shots. Let's see how realistic it is. I think at the most, it might make it to the second head, but probably just the first one. These rounds just go crazy on impact, so. Let's see. All right, I was aiming a little bit low on the first one because I am kind of at an upward angle, so hopefully the trajectory was right. Let's go see what happened. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, I was wrong. It took care of at least two of them easy. I mean, those are both pretty much gone, and then it looks like we also might have some damage on zombie head number three, but we'll start right here. You can see the entrance hole on zombie head number one, right there, pretty much dead center. It actually did not go as low as I wanted it to, but clearly it worked out because look at the results so you can see the damage on zombie head number one basically scrambled eggs i don't think he would be a threat any longer and then oddly enough 
Zombie head number two looks like it took the majority of that impact because it is far more damaged than even zombie head number one. I mean, that's literally a canoe. And then I guess this is probably the insides <laughs> that just fell out onto the table. So that definitely proves that the two for one spesh is a possibility in real life because those first two heads are no longer in existence. And then on head number three, that is our bullet right there in his jawbone. Don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It looks like it went probably an inch or two into that zombie head and stopped right in his jaw. Now they say with zombies, you have to hit the brain to shut him down. So he might still be a threat, but he does have 300 grains of lead stuck in his jaw. So he might be compromised. And then if we go around to this side, obviously there is no exit hole because the bullet stopped like right away in that ballistic shell. Well, I took that third head apart and I did not find the rest of our bullet. So that hole on top could have just been from a small fragment or something like that. But either way, we proved that at the very least you could take out two to three zombies with a single sniper rifle bullet. Maybe even more if you had the right ammo. So that's not bad. All right, guys, that is all I got for you today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. It looks like the old two for one, maybe even the three for one spesh is a realistic possibility with the 338 Lapua because we got all the way through two and into the third ballistic dummy lab zombie head, which I didn't expect, honestly. So if you could line those zombies up just right and you got the right ammo, you could absolutely do some damage. This rifle rules, this caliber rules, and I was surprised by the results. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, if you like the video, please hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.